Hello viewers, I am Anita Narula, postgraduate teacher geography from Kendri Vidyale Air Force Station, Gurgaon. The topic I am going to take up today is for the students of class 11 from the geography book, Fundamentals of Physical Geography. And the name of the chapter is Landforms and their Evaluation. Now, what are the landforms? Small to medium tracts of the Earth's surface are known as landforms. Each landform has its own characteristic feature, such as shape, size, materials, and is a result of the action of certain geomorphic processes and agents of gradation. Now, what are the different agents of gradation which bring about the changes on the surface of the Earth? Number one, running water. Number two, groundwater. Number three, glaciers. We also call them the moving ice, winds, and waves and currents. These are the agents of change which bring about certain changes on the surface of the earth and give birth to various types of landform. Now first we take up the action of the running water. There are three stages of running water. Running water means we also call that the river action. And river has got the three stages, the youthful stage, the maturity, and the old stage. Now what is the youth stage of the river? Streams are few with very poor integration, which flow in the shallow V-shaped valleys over the original slope. In the youthful stage of the river, the down cutting and the hardward erosion are more prominent. The main features formed at the youth stage of the river are gorge, canyon, V-shaped valley, waterfall, rapids, etc. Now the maturity stage of the river. In this stage, the streams are plenty with good integration. Unlike the youthful stage, in this stage, the river does the down cutting and gradually gives way to the lateral cutting. Deposition starts along with the erosional work. And the important features which are formed under this stage are river meandering, the oxbow lakes, the flood plains, etc. The old stage of the river. Almost all the features of the youthful stage disappear and the river reaches its old stage when the effectiveness of the river is very less. The river does not do any much erosional work and the deposition is the main work done by the river in its old stage. The valleys formed become broader and delta is the important feature which is formed in the old stage. Now if you look at the screens, you can have a view of the different three stages of the river that is the youthful, the maturity and the old stage of the river. Now we take up the erosional landforms which are formed by the river. Gorge, canyon, V-shaped valley, and waterfalls. Now we'll be discussing these features separately. Now what is a gorge? In highlands, when the river passes through the bed of hard rocks, the main action of the river is the down cutting. This results in a narrow and steep sided valley, which is known as gorge. The various rivers also have the deep cut gorges, for example, the Satluj, the Indus, the Brahmaputra, and the Gandak. Even the Kosi River has the various gorges formed in its path. Now, children, if you just view at the screen, you can have a visual of a gorge, how the valley is formed, and the water flows through that. Now, we take up another feature 
which is known as canyon. So, canyon is just a magnified form of gorge. In the areas of arid climate with a little rainfall, the valley sides fail to be widened at all and the river cuts deeper only in its flow. So, this results in the formation of canyon. And the best example of the canyon is the Grand Canyon of the River Colorado in United States of America. Now, look at the screens and you can have a view of the canyon formed by River Colorado and the name of the canyon is the Grand Canyon. Now, we take up another feature formed by the river that is the V-shaped valley. Such valleys are normally formed in the areas of sufficient rainfall where the rocks are not very hard. The down cutting and the side or lateral cutting are done simultaneously by river and thus the feature formed is known as the V-shaped valley. Now, we will be taking up the various features of the V-shaped valley, how it looks like. It is a narrow and a shallow river channel. The valleys have steep sides, the channel has a deep gradient. The water is mainly slow flowing and the load is mainly large, angular and rough. Now, have a view of the formation of the V-shaped valley. You can look up at your screens and see that how the water cuts deep the hard rock area and the V-shaped is formed in the form of a valley. Now, these are the different visuals of the valleys, children. You can look at the screens and have a visual of the different types of the valleys formed by the river. Now, the last erosional feature formed by the river is the waterfalls. When the river water falls down almost vertically from a sufficient height along the course of the river, it forms waterfall. The soft rocks are eroded easily and quickly and the river bed is lower at the place of the soft rock as it gets eroded easily, easily in comparison to the hard rock area. So, thus the water falls from a great height and a waterfall is created. Now, this is a visual of the waterfall, how the soft rocks are eroded and the hard rocks stay at the area and thus that helps the water to fall from a greater height and the formation of the waterfall is created. Again children, you can look at the screens. This visual also shows you how the water is falling from a height and thus creating a feature of waterfall. Another visual of the waterfall, you can see children on the screen, this diagram shows that the hard rock is not cut easily and the soft rock area is eroded. So, the water forcibly has to fall from a height and fall on the ground and thus forming a waterfall. Now, there are certain permanent waterfalls also, but there is a difference in the structure of the rocks in this waterfall. Here, the hard rocks, they stand almost vertically in the soft rocks of the river valley. In this way, the river water forms a fall over the hard rock before it reaches the soft rock downstream. And such waterfalls remain in their position for a long period and are known as the permanent waterfalls. And the best example of the permanent waterfall is the Yellowstone River of America, which has formed such a permanent waterfall. So, this is a visual of the Yellowstone River waterfall of America. Now, we take up the rapids formed by the river. 
Sometimes there's a band of hard rocks along the path of the river, which makes it jump over the fall downwards. So this leads to the formation of rapids in places where the hard valley bottom offers the greater resistance to the erosion. A series of rapids are formed and that feature is known as cascade. The Nile River of Africa forms several rapids. So children, look at the screen and you can have a visual of the rapid creation. That how the water falls from a height due to the formation of the rapid because the hard rock area gets eroded easily in comparison to the soft rock. So what are the potholes? The circular depressions on the river bed, they are known as the potholes. These are formed by the abrasion action of the river and they are most effective in the flood conditions. The pebbles which are trapped in the hollows on the river bed are swirled about in the turbulent river. Now this is a visual of the potholes. You can see how the great depressions are formed in the area where the water permanently falls and this results into, into the formation of potholes. Now children after the features which are formed by the erosional action of the river, we take up the few features or you can say the types of the landforms which are formed by the depositional action of the river. And the such landforms are alluvial cones, alluvial fans, river meanders, oxbow lakes, braided channel and the natural levees on the flood plains. So first we take up the alluvial cones formed due to the depositional action of the river. After leaving the mountain, the velocity of the river water reduces. So children, when we say that the river leaves the mountain area, so that means the youthful stage of the river ends and it comes into the maturity stage. So that means after leaving the mountain, the river enters into the plain areas. So the rock material brought down by the river from the highlands is deposited at the foothills and this is generally of the coarser material, maybe the sand, gravel or the boulders. And such deposited material takes a form of a cone. Look at the screen children and this is a visual showing you that how the alluvial cones are formed when the river stops the mountain area and enters into the plain area. Now another feature is the alluvial fan. So the river crosses the alluvial cones by dividing itself into many channels and thus forming a shape of a fan which is known as an alluvial fan. It is broader than the alluvial cone but its height is less than the alluvial cone. And the rivers of Himalayas, Rockies and the Andes mountains have the various formations of the alluvial fans. Look at the visual of the alluvial fan and it typically shows that it almost looks like a fan and this is the depositional feature formed by the river. Now the another feature is the meanders and the oxbow lake. River follows the curved path rather than going straight. To and fro movement of the river channels across its plain develops the S-shaped meander. River becomes so weak that even a small obstruction will force it bend its path. So once the process of the curve formation starts, it goes on increasing with the passage of time. So at the screens, you can have a visual of the river meander. So that means instead of river going straight, it takes a S shape forming a meander. 
So, at the middle and the lower course, the river flows in large bends and these bends are called meanders. River terraces, these are the features also formed by the depositional action of the river. Now, the last feature which is formed by the river in its last stage. So, children, the last stage is the old stage of the river, where the river is very inactive and it gets divided into various distributaries forming delta. So, what is delta? It is developed by the river at its mouth. It is actually a flat piece of land formed by the layers of the alluvium deposited at the river mouth over the passage of time. So, the conditions which are responsible for the formation of delta, the river should be shallow, sea area should be shallow, the currents and waves along the coast should be weak and the river carries a large amount of alluvium. So, children, this is a picture which shows you how the delta looks like and this portion is where the river ends its way into the sea forming the delta and getting itself divided into the various distributaries. So, children, till now we have discussed about the most important agent of gradation which brings about the changes on the land surface and that is the moving water. We also call it the action of the river. So, river has got its three stages as we have already discussed, the youth stage, the middle stage and the old stage. River does the three types of work, erosional, transportational and depositional work. So, when river does the erosion, so the various types of the features are formed. For example, we have discussed the valleys are formed, canyons are formed or the gorges which are the main important feature formed by the river and in certain areas we have the formation of waterfalls also. In the middle stage as we have discussed the features formed by the river are the meanders of the river and we have also discussed about the oxbow lake formed by the river and when the river enters into the, its last stage which is known as the old stage of the river the important feature formed is the delta and that is the end of the path of the river where the river enters into the sea. Thank you children. Mm -hmm.